Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 22nd of April. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 525 points at 34,268 just yesterday, uh, at about this time, a little bit uh, maybe earlier. It hit 35,492. And then the Fed came in and said, we're putting the squeeze on everything. And they've done that. And now what we're looking at is key support will be at the 34,000 level over the next two days. It really needs to hold that and try to get back into the 34,000, uh, 580, area. Looking at the S&P, also down sharply. Uh, so the Dow's down 1.47%. S&P's down 1.24, a little bit better than the Dow because it's already had a big move down. It hasn't acted anywhere close to as, as good a chart pattern as the Dow. It's down 54, 43.38. Uh, the whole area of 43.22, yeah, that area, 43.22, in the next day or two, that, that, that has, the next market day or two, that has to hold. QQQ and the X100 uh, trading down now. It's, it's picking up steam to the downside. Uh, it really at 3332 down to it's got a lot of work to do because if it starts to trade in the 228 level, that is just not good action at all. We're looking at the IWM holding OK. It's down sharply down 2.47 at 185. But uh, money has not really been going into that sector. Looking at gold, gold was down quite sharply earlier on. It's now down 11. And it's stuck in a range. And it's, I, I think the commodities are pulling back, having a digester phase. We'll see how long that lasts. Same thing with crude oil. Uh, crude oil is down. It's on 82 at 101.94. Um, it needs to hold 98. If it takes out 98 support, that 95 level will be hit quite quickly. That'll help the market a little bit. I didn't get to do this in my show, the Target Admissions Hour, a few moments ago. I was on the show, Jets. Jets is holding this year's global Jets ETF, holding really well. You know, this is a really mixed market. Don't I, I don't want to just lock in on all the negativity. There are some things that are working, and it's very select, but there are things that are working. Looking at um, the TLT, that's not working, but it's better than it was. At least it's a green candle so far. It's down 12 cents at 120.63. I didn't get a chance. I wanted to show this. The TBT, which is the inverse the ultra short Lehman 20 year, that is uh, uh, holding quite well in the 24s. And I wanted to talk about a chart pattern. Well, we'll talk about it on Monday. But it could say it could pull back and yields could finally pull back, at least for the moment, and that'll help the market. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Larry Preservant. A great program all day through. Um, it ends up with uh, uh, Tom O'Brien at 3 to 4 and archived. And it's just uh, it's really worth your while staying. Hope you have a great weekend.